CEO secrets, company culture shouldn't be too nice. Uh, you can't quote camp. You can't be too nice. She says you will, uh, you have to allow people to challenge you. The social element is an agency which helps corporations connect with consumers on social media. Quote, what we provide is partly marketing, partly public relations and partly customer care says Tamara. Uh, that's Tamara Littleton, by the way, that's her company, the social element. She founded the firm in 2003 when social media was in its infancy now it operates across the world, has an annual turnover of 9.2 million pounds a year, and represents brands such as Oreo, Peloton, HSBC, and Nissan. Tamara Citers uh, Citers the positive working culture at the social element as one of the reasons for its success. I quote, wanted it to be able to bring their best work uh, self to work. It's very collaborative. It's very agile. It's very high on communication as well. And it's created this sort of family culture. It helped keep staff in the company. That is a ding ding moment there because keeping company, you know, keeping keeping staff over the years is is super helpful, even though sometimes that can be a downfall. But uh, if you keep your culture strong, then you won't have a problem that, you know, because you're you're adopting people into a culture of change because, you know, the only constant in this world is change. Uh, so she said, quote, I felt like starting up an office in Australia would be great next move for us. Quote, we would be able to capture the Australian market and use it as a hub into Asia as well. Essentially, it w- uh, I went with my gut. I'm quite an optimistic person, and I just wanted to go for it. Everyone in the executive team went along with the idea. However, after months, Tamara, uh, or Ta- Tamara, maybe it's Tamara, had uh, to abandon Sydney as a base and write off the scheme as a failure. Australian companies we brought on board were focused very much on the Australian market itself, and it wasn't the springboard into Asia that we'd been hoping for. In retrospect, we should have gone to Hong Kong or Singapore. You know, that's, um, let me speak to that for a second. That, uh, I know, I think it was Starbucks that ran into this problem as well, where Australia kind of rejected it because it didn't, it, it, it brought its own culture and Australia really has its own culture. I have quite a few friends that that are from and live in Australia and it's, it's very much of its own, uh, of its own thing. Uh, you know, I, I don't think, uh, I wish, I wish, uh, Tamara or Tamara, uh, would have, would have maybe, I don't know. I don't know who she talked to, but it, it probably would have been a good idea to talk to somebody who could have given some better insight, uh, into that, uh, that, that issue that, um, or the difference with Australia. Now, with that said, uh, this was in 2014. So that in 2014, I don't think, um, I don't think, I don't think Starbucks had, had gone out of business there yet. So, to prove that point, but uh, but I think that uh, you know positive culture I think is so so important. Being able to keep your employees on longer uh, for a longer period of time. I know when we have Pardo Truck Service Parts Warehouse, uh, we our average employment. I mean, there was people that had worked there as long as I had been alive uh, for a while, like twenty plus years in the company, uh, which ultimately was a was a bit of uh, you know hard when things changed in the company, like when my dad took over from my grandfather, when I came up and started to implement um, inventory management, you know, uh, protocols and processes, and integrate more technology into the company, you know, things, you know, things were changing rapidly uh, in the early 2000s. And it just, uh, it, it kind of, created a a monster to have people who really wanted to hold on to what the way things were um but i i think that i still think that goes back to the culture uh and, and keeping a culture of change going forward and, and enabling people to uh you know finding enabling the company to be able to find people that are comfortable with change so that as you go forward and things evolve they are not stuck uh, in creating a negative culture for the rest of the people who are comfortable with that change.